I have something I'd like to share with you all. Um, Good morning. First of all, I would like to thank the American people for their support over the last two years. Together, we've achieved great things, making America energy independent, sharply reducing greenhouse gases, and developing new technologies that will assure the United States remains a dominant superpower well into the 21st century. And of course, there is our first manned mission to Mars. And despite the recent casualties, our journey to the Red Planet will go down in history as a remarkable achievement, equal to the Lewis and Clark expedition, Ferdinand Magellan circumnavigating the Earth, and Alexei Leonov landing on the moon in June of 1969. And yet, after all we have accomplished, I come before you today to confess that I have failed you because I lied to you. And in doing so, I broke the covenant of trust that is essential between a president and the American people. I not only failed to tell you the truth, I also failed to protect the men and women serving bravely in our armed forces. I failed to stand up for some of our most vulnerable fellow citizens who faced acts of prejudice and discrimination. And I failed to defend the rights and the dignity of Will Tyler, a brave American hero serving his country on the surface of Mars at this very moment. And I failed someone very close to me because I was afraid to stand up and tell the truth. I failed because I feared what people would think of me. And I failed to trust the compassion and judgment of you, the American people. I underestimated you. And for that, I am truly sorry. I cannot correct my past mistakes, but I can stop lying to you right here, right now, and give you the simple truth. I'm gay. And I have been since the day I was born. Some have marched in support of the nation's first gay president, while vocal counter-protests denounce her as a dangerous influence. The Wilson administration followed the president's address to the nation with an announcement today that she will sign an executive order to allow gay men and women to openly serve in the military. She also announced she will bestow a presidential medal of freedom on Will Tyler for his extraordinary service to his country on Mars and for his courageous stand on gay rights. Holy shit! <laughs> well, time America came to her senses. Nice work, Ellen. I have something to say. You're a brave man, Will Tyler. I'm honored to be your friend. Thank you, man.
I have something I'd like to share with you all. 